from the author of Spinsterella, a strange and unusual romance, comes Spellbound, a darker shade of black. Get Spellbound this Halloween in paperback and ebook at online booksellers everywhere. 80% of Afro-American Negroes say they are Christians. However, when you interact with Negroes about this Christian religion, in most cases, that's all it is, religion. Because in most cases, this Afro-American Negro just does not pick up this Bible and read it. Because if this Afro-American Negro would actually go out and read this Bible, they would not be saying some of the things that they are saying and doing some of the things they are doing. Now, when it comes down to this Afro-American Negro, in many cases, they just don't have an understanding of the Bible and what and how it's even sectioned. You'll have these Afro-American Negroes, in many cases, they will go out here and quote scriptures from the Old Testament and then tell you that that's their justification for doing things. However, that's not the case of how the Bible is supposed to be read at all. In the Bible, there is the Old Testament and the New Testament. Now, the Old Testament was meant to show people two things. It was meant to show them the works that God did, and it was also meant to show you the bloodline that Jesus came from, because Jesus came from the bloodline of David. And David can trace his um, bloodline all the way back to Seth, who was the son of Adam. So that was one of the things that the Bible pretty much was trying to do in the Old Testament. The second thing it was doing was showing the faith that men had in God. So those men who were part of that bloodline trusted in God to deliver them, and because he tr they trusted in him, they were blessed to receive what they received. Now there is a third thing that people were supposed to get from that Old Testament, and that was the whole concept of the law, and that leads into the New Testament. Now the law was designed by God, pretty much, to give people a standard to follow. However, a lot of people misinterpret that standard. Now, the whole point of the law was meant to show people that they could not achieve salvation in and of themselves. That's what the law was all about, that nothing you could do on earth could help you achieve salvation. That's what the whole point of the law was. And all of these things in the Old Testament were supposed to lead into the birth of Jesus. Now, the birth of Jesus after this, and Jesus walking the earth, that's what the New Testament is about. And when Jesus came on the earth, he came to fulfill that law. Because, again, he, he's showing you that you cannot do this of yourself, and that you need Jesus to give you salvation in and up for yourself. He has to die for your sins, because you cannot redeem your own soul. And that's what he was... That's why he came to earth, because he came to earth to pay the ransom for mankind and mankind's sins. So when you look at, at the Bible and you read it from, from the proper context, you understand it clearly. But the Afro-American Negro, because he has been misled by these jack leg black pastors, does not understand his own Bible. He pretty much, again, reads it incorrectly and also he takes pieces and bits from and from other elements such as feminism and other um, cultural issues and tries to merge it in with God's word. And this is what really messes up black Christianity because that's what, black Christianity is one of the most dysfunctional religions out there. Again, the whole point of the Bible was to show you God's is to show you those three things I mentioned. Um, that bloodline that leads all the way from Adam all the way to Jesus, um, the, the things that he did for those people, and to show you the whole concept of the law and why it was a fallacy because you cannot get salvation for your soul with the law. It's just not possible. You would need Jesus to pretty much um, die for your sins, and that's how you would achieve salvation. You would have to surrender to Christ in order to achieve salvation and eternal life and this is this is what the foundations of the relationship with God is this is what following Christ is all about but this is something that the afro-american Negro pretty much misinterprets because again the black pastor pretty much he teaches religion he does not teach a relationship with God followers of Christ and followers of God pretty much 
understand that the foundations of it are that Jesus is God's son and that he died for your sins and that when you surrender to him you, you, are, you are accepting his gift of salvation. Unfortunately, what the Negro gets from the black pastor is the, a total misinterpretation where you're trying to go out and work for your own salvation or you're trying to do something for it. Again, there's nothing you can do for it outside of surrendering to Christ. He will do it for you. He comes in and does this for you. But the Afro-American Negro, he thinks this is something he can do in and of himself. You would need to have Christ inside of you to do this for you, and by surrendering, you, you allow God to put his spirit within you. And this is something the Afro-American Negro does not understand about a relationship with God. He's still practicing a false religion that looks and sounds like Christianity, but it's not. It's, it's not following God. It's following a man-made construct. And a lot of these pro-blacks and others, they take parts from that to dismiss the true word of God. They, they, they misinterpret it, and they, they take that to dismiss it. And again, they, again, they're coming from bits and pieces. They'll take Old Testament and New Testament and try to mix them together, and that's not how it's meant to be read. It's meant to be read, you know, again, you read straight to the Old Testament to see the, the history and the bloodline, the feats that God has done for others, and you go to see how, why the law that God gave of those people was a fallacy, because he understood from first hand that it was going to be a fallacy, because the men would try to do it, but then they didn't want it, they, they couldn't do it. The whole thing is it would take Christ to do it through them, and this is something that he was trying to show people, but you try to explain this to the Negro, and he'll tell you that that's not the case at all, and he'll try to you quote Old Testament scriptures to justify things when Christ came and pretty much he pretty much fulfilled the law and fulfilled all that. And you don't need to go to the Old Testament; you need to look at the New Testament and look at what Christ has done. And that's what you need to focus. That's what people need to focus on after you finish reading the Old Testament, because the New Testament again is the most important part because this is Christ pretty much um, establishing the um, fulfillment of the law and presenting the two commandments that he said that are the the most important of all which is um love your neighbor as yourself and um there was the other one i i can't remember the other one but um those are the two most important of all oh yeah um love the lord with all your heart your soul your mind and your spirit and to love your neighbor and you love yourself those two pretty much fulfill god's law and that pretty much fulfills his word. Those are the two that you need to focus on because that's what Jesus came to do. He loved it. He loved all of us as he loved himself. And um, he loved the Lord enough that he was willing enough to sacrifice his own life to give everyone the gift of salvation from past, present, and future. That's why he did that. So that's that was a complete fulfillment of the law. And this is something that the Afro-American Negro just doesn't understand because, again, these pastors have misled him. These pastors have lied to him. They have presented him with a religious concept, but did not teach him how to have a relationship with God. Because the pastor is only thinking about this world. He's not thinking about the next one. And Christ wants us to focus on the next world and our relationship with him. That's the most important thing to him and above all else, because he does not want to see anybody lose their soul. He does not want any soul to perish. Because God loves everyone, and this is why he would go out and sacrifice his own mortal life so that we could have eternal life. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.